Hey guys, so welcome to Music Theory in 3. Hopefully we get through this in exactly 3 minutes because I hate taking up longer time than you need. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about this. Oh, my pen's not working. Let me show you something cool and start drawing. Oh, it's not working. We can do it. This thing called pitch. Now I know that you all know what pitch is. Um, I'm going to just write next to it something really easy to remember. It is the highs and lows of music. Sorry, I keep leaning on my screen, so it's not letting me write. Lows of music. Um, and what that means is that it's either the low notes or the high notes or whatever notes are in between um, that come from vocals, instruments, literally everything. Vocals, instruments, um, pianos, guitars, drums, everything. Pitch makes music, if that's a pretty good argument. I think we could have a solid argument about that. Um, but in this video, we want to talk about the musical alphabet. Oh, that's my phone. Whoever that lucky person is, I'll talk to them in a minute. So, um, the musical alphabet is this thing where, just like the normal alphabet, we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, these letters are pictures. It's just the names for different pictures. So, really, we could have called them, like, Ashley, Bernadette, Kat, Daniel, Ethan, who should be an F? Fred and George. We could have called them that, but we didn't because really that's too hard to remember and A, B, C, D, E, F, G makes way more sense. It's just the name of the pictures and what the sound comes out. Now, in the musical alphabet, we don't keep going like H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. We have this concept called octaves, which is when the notes reoccur in they just reoccur in different octaves. So you've got low octaves and you've got high octaves. If you count here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When you get to the next one, you have eight. Eight means oct. Now you get why it's an octave. So you have one octave here, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There are, if we put an A there, two octaves here. Alrighty, so um, that's the musical alphabet and we've got the language we want to use for when we're talking about pitch. So pitch is the highs and lows of music. Um, here's your musical alphabet. I'm going to show you in another video how to return the musical alphabet into notation and I'm going to talk about this thing called pitch range. So when you're ready, can you jump over to the next three-minute video? See you soon.